Welcome to Create Your Own Pet Soap Sculpture. I found that ivory soap and getting a bunch of pictures of some animals that I might like to create. I picked cats in this case and I got started with doing some practice sketching. I realized it'd probably be a good idea to trace the outline of the bar of the soap. Again, I chose ivory soap because it's soft and easy to use. Did you know that the Inuit peoples of Northern Canada have been making sculptural art for more than 4,000 years? They carved walrus tusks, bones, and stone to decorate everyday objects and to tell stories of their people. Now it's our turn. As you notice, I started to make a rough sketch of the shape of the cat that I'd like to sculpt. It wasn't an easy task, of course. And I know that as I sculpt, I can also correct. You'll see what I mean in just a bit. Now it's time to trace or kind of make that same sketch onto the bar of soap. So you have a guide for where to start chiseling the soap pieces off as you sculpt. And if you haven't noticed yet, I did line a cookie tray with some foil just to make for easier cleanup. I grabbed some simple tools such as a fork, um, a toothpick, a butter knife, and as you can see, starting to chisel off just the outer edge of the soap with the butter knife was the easiest way to get started. Next, you can start to scrape, and I thought a side of a fork seemed to work pretty good scrape apart where the black marker is and scrape the indent where it says ivory on the bar of soap. It was pretty simple to do and really the soap is so soft it's so simple. Some other add-ons having a paper towel handy to wipe off the soap as well as a bowl of water you'll see soon. It is so smooth too when you use the side of the fork to swipe down. Another tip, have a little dish of water by and you can smooth out those kind of rougher edges there with your finger as you wear it down. Make it more rounded. For fine tuning to actual details, you can use a toothpick or you could use, I have like a skewer that I use for grilling to dig out maybe the eyes and kind of make a shape for the nose. I'm not gonna lie, this seems a little difficult to me. So it looks really rough. So again, with my little dab of water on my finger, Gonna kind of smooth that out, kind of round out those eyes a little bit better. It just looks so choppy. So, you know, wear down the soap a little bit with some water and you can make it work. And carving out the spot for the legs. I just figured you usually see the front of a pet's legs if they're sitting like facing you. And you see how there's all these little pieces? You can just brush those out of there, like so. And it looks like I have a little blemish here. No problem. You can kind of take a little piece of the shaving and stick it right back in there and smooth it down. It's like it never existed. Again, with that trick with the water, you can rub that in and make it look like it matches. Pretty cool. I now realize that I probably should take the center part out a little bit so it looks more like it's the belly, so the legs are more pronounced. So I'm gonna keep working at this and taking the chunks out. I'm just using a toothpick just cause it seems like a smaller spot and it seems a little bit, I can have more control holding it like within my fingers a little better than like the fork or something bigger. You use what works for you. And the more that I've gone over this, I realized I needed this to be kind of more like at an angle going down towards the back because it would be more like the chest. And then I realized, of course, it gets skinnier at the neck, so we're going to want to shave away a little bit there. So that'll make the head look more pronounced too. 
keep working. And now it's time, pick it up in your hand, kind of notice where it looks really choppy and we'll start to work in those sections. I was thinking maybe I want to like smooth out those ears a bit. The face is looking a little bit better. It looks a little bit three dimensional now, so that's good. I kind of created a little crease there and then I even did a little toothpick for the digging of the claws there to kind of make it look like the claws. It's really rough, friends, but boy, with some practice, you could have so much fun. And trying different types of soaps. Now, I suggest ivory soap only because it's really soft and it's really easy to work with. But I wonder what would happen if you tried like maybe a dial soap. It might be a little bit of a harder soap. It might take a little bit more practice to work with a soap that's a little bit harder. So you give it a shot and see what you come up with.